right guys I just wanted to make a short video here I have an old uh, Tower Hobbies catalog from 1988 when I was a kid I used to love flipping through these things over and over reading about all the RC cars and looking at the planes as well and I'm guessing a lot of you guys may have done the same thing as a kid and probably don't have still have these things laying around to look at anymore so i thought maybe i would take a quick video so you guys could take a look at it and maybe bring back some memories from when you were a kid looking through these things thought it might be fun for somebody to watch i'm just gonna try to Briefly pause on each page so you can get a look at it, and then maybe if you wanted to read something on the page, you can pause the video and take a look at it. You can also see some of the prices on these things back then. There's some airplanes that Kyosho was making for a while back then. Basically, just be showing the uh, Kyosho products, because that's what Tower Hobbies was known for selling mostly. Where I grew up, we didn't have a hobby shop, so all I knew about RC was pretty much out of these catalogs, so. I'm gonna just kinda skip over this these planes quick because I'm mainly making a video for you RC car guys out there and here's the uh, Ultima I actually got myself one of these when I was a kid this is one of the I think this is the second car that I ever bought I started out with a different one that, that I'll tell you about when I get to it here I'll mention it and the Javelin. Pretty sure Kyosho re-released these a while back. Turbo Optima. And here's my first RC car that I ever had, the Pegasus. A lot of fun with that. It's pretty much all made out of plastic. Mechanical speed controller. I was going to get when I ordered it the I was planning to get this one, the Icarus, but when I went to order it, it was on back order. So we decided to just go ahead and get the the other one. These are kind of neat. I never owned one, but when I start flipping through it looks pretty neat, a 120th scale. I forgot about those. I always thought the Rocky was a neat looking four wheel drive setup. Those tires work a little bit different too. My brother had a, my brother got one of these for his first RC car, the big brute. It was pretty impressive when we first saw it because it was so big and big wheels and tires on it, but it wasn't the most reliable vehicle. Made out of plastic and things would wear out and break on it. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, a lot of these cars always say or show in the list of parts. Kyosho bearing set, and it always tried to sell you the bearing separate, and I never quite understood that in, when I was a kid. I didn't know what they were, did it need bearings or not, and technically I would say they came with bushings, so they would, they were drivable, but those bushings, plastic bushings, did not last very long. Some of the optional parts. 
point. I need to get rid of the battery chargers, which is not very exciting. But batteries and these motors. I always remember looking at these, wishing I could get one, make my car a little bit faster. Set that down. Have the adjustable timing, that was kind of cool. And the nitro cars, these were always cool to look at, but I never did get one in. can see this. There's some boats. Stop on all these ending pages. If there is something you guys want to see, I guess you can comment below and in the comment section, and I will try to get a quick video or a picture or something of it and post it up on here. Because I have this is 1988, and I have. Tower Hobbies catalog pretty much from 1988 all the way up to the last one that they made. This is all black and white stuff, so nothing too exciting back there. Well, here's the back of it. But yeah, if there's another year or something you want to take a look at, let me know. I can make another video. Thanks for watching.